Welcome in, Gov fans, for a little bit of Good Friday baseball over here at Charlie Paleo Field. I'm Carter Bales, soon to be joined with uh, Jordan Conley and Tyler Graves whenever he can uh, chime in. Um, the Govs are going to be taking on uh, McMinn Central. Pretty good baseball team over there. Might as well go ahead and go through the uh, starting lineups. We'll start with William Blunt leading off and playing center field, uh, as usual, uh, Joe Matosian. Batting second and playing left field, Rody Kirkland. Playing third base, Will Vance. Batting fourth in the cleanup and playing shortstop, Justin Bell. Your catcher tonight, Ethan Pratts. Nate Ray will be DHing behind him. Brooks Bird gonna be playing third base. Kendall, Kendall Brewer, excuse me, in right field. Carter Abbott rounding up the batting order in the nine hole at second base. And your starting pitcher for the guys is gonna be Dawson Wells. Now with Central, um, we don't have any first names for them. Um, wasn't on their roster, but we'll, we'll run through their, their one through nine pretty quick. Um, center field, number three, uh, Baker. Left field, number one, Clemens. Their shortstop, number eight, Ring. Number 15, and playing catcher for them, Ward. Number 22, playing third base, Summy. Number 17, playing right field, Farner. Their pitcher and DH whenever he comes out of the game, number nine, Morris. Their first baseman, number 25, Oaks. And their second baseman, number 10, Hall. So that'll be your starting lineups for both teams. We're gonna take a quick break. Be back with the first pitch.
All right, back here, getting ready for the uh, first pitch. Dawson Wells warming up on the mound for our contest tonight, McMinn Central against your William Blunt Governors. Once again, Charlie Paleo Field, one o'clock start time. Govs wearing orange tops, white pants, and the orange senior hat, McMinn Central. Pretty slick looking uniforms. They've got navy with pinstripes and baby blue numbers. McMinn Central, a pretty good ball team. Pretty sure they beat Gallenberg Pittman earlier this year. Uh, so Govs definitely have a tough matchup, but it's baseball, so really anything goes. As uh, we saw earlier this week, uh, Tennessee Tech beat Tennessee, I believe, on Wednesday. So that's the beauty of it. Anything can happen in a baseball game. I'll run through the starting lineups for William Blunt again. In center field, leading off, you've got Joe Matosian. Playing left field, Rody Kirkland. First base is going to be Will Vance today. On the other corner is going to be Brooks Bird. In the middle, you've got Justin Bell and Carter Abbott. Kendall Brewer in right field. And of course, Ethan Pratt's behind the plate. Dawson Wells will be starting. Dawson has a really big sweeping motion with his with his release. Pretty good slider, he's got a lot of movement, but he's got to be able to control it. But what I've seen in his uh, warm-up so far, he's looking pretty good today, so hopefully that correlates to whenever a batter's in the box. Last warm-up pitch right down the middle. Pratt's with a good throw down to second base. We'll get ready for some baseball. Leading off for McMinn is going to be their center fielder, number three, Baker. Now batting number three, Baker. No wind. Beautiful day for baseball as we get ready for the first pitch. Got a quick step off here before the first pitch is even thrown. Wouldn't be surprised if it's a fastball in the outside corner. It's looking like they're setting up that way. First pitch, fastball high for ball one. Second one low, ball two, another fastball, two and oh. Austin's going to have to work his way back. Brooks playing right on the line, expecting maybe a bunt. It's going to be hit to Brooks. He'll catch it in fair, uh, fair territory and throw him out for out number one. It'll be a 5-3. That'll bring up number one and the left fielder, Plymouth. Brooks looks to be playing even with the bag at third now. The middle's pretty deep, and Will Vance is back behind first base. First pitch inside, fastball for ball one. 1-0 one -oh count now. Outfield looks to be playing pretty even, other than Job, who has uh, moved a little bit over to the left. That is a fastball outside for ball two. Once again, really liking this uniform combo from Central as that ball is hard hit over to Brooks. For out number two, once again, another 3-5. Govs with a quick two outs. Looking to go one, two, three here in the top of the first. Now batting number eight, ring. Short stop ring up now. I don't believe Dawson has thrown anything but a fastball so far, as this one has bounced way in front of the plate. Ball one, might have slipped a little bit. Okay. 
One zero pitch. Ball outside. It'll be two zero. That's something we've consistently seen in this first inning. Austin getting down pretty early in the count and going to have to work his way back. 2-0 pitch from Wells in there for strike one. Fastball on the outside corner. Two-one pitch. That'll be down the line. They're going to say fair ball. Rody's going to have to catch it, and runner will hold it first base. It'll be a two-out single for Ring. Pretty good job right there to keep his hands back as he was. Now batting for McMinn Central, number 15, Ward. He looked to be kind of ahead on that pitch. Uh, Keep his, keep his hands back and get it down the line for a single with two outs. Now up is the catcher, Ward. Runner on first. First pitch from Wells. And that'll be dribbled over to Brooks again. Looks like he's going to have another 3-5, and he will. So three 3-5s three to end the, first in, uh, the top of the first, excuse me. We'll head into the bottom. Gov's up to bat. We move into the bottom of the first. Gov's able to hold Central to no runs in that top of the first. Now for the Gov, number 27, Job Matosian. And now they're going to look to get some runs on the board. Leading off, as usual, Job Matosian, the center fielder. Pitcher for Central is number nine, Morris. He's going to DH for them whenever he comes out. First pitch, swing and a miss on the outside fastball. It'll be 0-1. Great job by Morris so far. Want to get a lot of first pitch strikes. Keep the pitch count low. Second one will hit Job on a breaking ball. That's about the easiest bagger you can get. Runner on first now, no outs with Rody Kirkland up. 
go. A lot of speed on the base path. Now batting for William Hutt, number six, Rody Kirkland. Rody bats and throws from the left side. As the right fielder is up near the wall, or up near the uh, the wall in right field. Morris picks off at Job. Job able to get in there without getting dirty, as he had literally just taken off from the bag. He'll pick off again. Job is going to have to get more. You can't be walking in right there. You got to get your jersey dirty a little bit. Good job, though. Job does a really good job of getting in the pitcher's head. First pitch to here to Rody is going to be driven in between the first and Job's second going gap. Job's going to get to third. Now we got runners on the corners as the right fielder let the ball go under his glove. Un unable to score, though. Center fielder was backing him up, as he should be. Now runners on the corners with Will Vance up, who's been pretty hot. Now batting for the Gus, number 21, Will Vance. Will a Johnson commit, Rody a King commit. Hitting two and three in this lineup. A lot of firepower that the Govs are going to be missing next year, that's for sure. First pitch here to Will. Fastball high and outside for ball one. Wouldn't be surprised if, uh, if uh, Rody tries and gets a jump here. Get to second base. Two runners in scoring position. Is this one's going to be fouled? Oh, excuse me. It's going to be right behind the first base bag for out number one. It'll be an F3. Thought that ball was going to go foul, but no luck. You can get on if you want. JV coach uh, Nathan Yates up in the box now. Now batting for the Governors, number 15, Justin Bell. Justin Bell up now. Runner still on the corners with one out. Rody's going to go. It's going to be a first pitch strike with the breaking ball, and Rody's going to walk into second base. Good curveball on the outside corner. It'll be 0-1. Morris's delivery is not going to come yet. He's going to step off. A one to Bell. Swing and a miss on the fastball for strike two. Morris has done a really good job so far of getting getting ahead early. O2 pitch. Going to be. Bell's going to try and run it out, and he's going to be called safe. It was safe at first. Job comes in to score, and the Govs are on the board early, 1 0. It'll be an RBI infield single for Justin Bell. Now batting for the Govs, number 37, Ethan Pratt. Runners on the corner again, corners again. Ethan Pratt's up, the catcher. Bell also a lot of speed on the base, base path. So one through four for the Gubs tonight. A whole lot of speed if they can get on, as this is a fastball outside and high for ball one. One-o -oh setting up outside again, but it's going to be inside, and Bell is going to get in. Decided to dive, but didn't need to. So now we've got runners on second and third, one out. Base hit should score two. Pratt's up 2-0. This pitch has got to be on a tee if he's going to swing at it. 2-0 pitch. Called strike on the inside corner. It'll be 2-1. Pratt's didn't like that one, and I don't blame him. Looked low. Two one one on the board. Swing and a miss on the outside curveball. It'll be 2 2. Pratt's going to have to shorten up here and try and put a ball in play, find a gap. A 
lot of room up the middle. Pratt's going to foul this one off. He'll stay alive for another pitch. Really be unfortunate if the Govs can't get these two guys in with only one out. Morris is 2-2. Here's the delivery. Way outside for 3-2. Good job by the catcher to slide and catch that ball. Full count now. Three, two, one on the board. Three balls, two strikes, one out. Here's the pitch, and that'll be driven into right field for a base hit. Right fielder falls. That'll that'll end up scoring two runs. Pratt's with a two RBI single. Govs up three nothing here in the bottom of the first. Great job right there to sit back and poke it down the right side. Get two runs in. Pinch runner here for the Govs is going to be Trent Reardon. Now batting for William Mutt, number seven, Nate Ray. Now up to DH, Nate Ray. Ray. And as a courtesy runner. Yeah, it's Trent. Trent's going to go ahead and get back as we got an early pick off. He had just gotten off the bag. No need for a pick there. This guy's jumpy on the mound, that's for sure. Ray in the six hole tonight. It's going to take a first pitch called low for ball. One. It'll be 1 0. Get back again. Not even giving them time to get long. Not going to pick anybody off if you don't let them get out there. 1 0 pitch to Ray. Here's the delivery. Ball called low again. It'll be 2 0. Looked pretty good from up here, but. Don't have the angle the umpire has. I have to be on a tee if Nate wants to swing at this one. At least look good out of his hand. Trent's going to need a great jump, and he'll be in there safely at second. That ball called strike one. It'll be 2-1 now on Nate Ray. That was a really great jump by Trent, realizing the pitcher has really only looked once just about every time. He was taken off for a second before the ball was even thrown. 2-1 pitch to Ray. Swing, line drive left field. That'll find a gap. Trent's going to go in safely, a trot in to home. And Nate Ray is going to be called out because he didn't slide like he should have. So not very good base, base running decision there by Nate Ray, but RBI single, so Govs now up 4 nothing here in the bottom of the first with two outs and Brooks Bird up to bat. Now batting for the Govs, number 11, Brooks Bird. I get the infield might be a little tacky, but you got a slide right there. So instead of a runner on second with one out, we've got nobody on with two outs. But one pitch here to Bird. Swing and a miss on a very good breaking ball on the outside for strike two. O2 oh, now to Bird. He'll swing and a miss on a ball in the dirt for strike three, and he's just going to be tagged out. So that'll end the inning for your Govs. A lot of early scoring, as they've done really all year. 4 nothing. We'll head into the top of the second.
We move into the top of the second. Uh, Govs up for nothing. As they really played stationary ball that uh, at bottom of the first. Getting a single here, a double there, and bringing in some runners. Up is number 22, Summy. Playing third base for them tonight. First pitch right up the middle. So it'll be dribbled. Justin Bell's going to get a good read on it. Flip it to first, and they're going to say Will Vance pulled off the bag. Good call over there at first base by the umpire. Central's going to have a runner on first with no outs. Tough luck right there is the ball, or the, as the uh, ball thrown by Bell. Just pulled him off the bag. Barner up now. He's playing right field. Will's holding on the runner at first. First pitch here to Farner. Swing and a miss for strike one. Fastball on the outside corner. Cubs looking to find a ball on the ground here. Roll it up. As Wells is going to have a bad pick off to first base, and Sammy's going to get to second standing up. Definitely didn't want that. Now that takes away the double play opportunity. As Central has a runner in scoring position at second base. Looks like Carter's going to mess with Summy at second a little bit. One pitch to Farner. Here's the delivery. He fouled off of his leg. A ball that was inside, it'll be 0-2. Just put it on. Goes this way. Now joined with uh, head JV coach Nathan Yates on the call. Can you, can you hear me? We can. All right. Called time in the box. It'll be 0-2 still. Wells comes set. Carter releases him at second. Here's the 0-2. Fastball low. It'll be 1-2 now. Pretty good, pretty good waste pitch. And a good block by Pratt's. Govs missed out on a possible double play opportunity a little earlier this inning. As that one's fouled off, hits Pratt's right in the face mask. Takes it like a champ, though. He tosses the ball over to the dugout. Counts will stay at 1-2. Yeah, an aired pickoff at first base moves Summy over to second. Be unfortunate if the Guffs get a ball on the ground because that'll move him over to third if it's on the right side. One, two. Summy's going to take off and he'll get into third base easily. Really good job right there to, to go is he recognized the high leg kick from Wells and Got in there really easily over at third. And nothing Pratt could do there, just a really good jump. It was a good job to block it up by Pratt since that ball was, was pretty far outside. It'll be 2-2 two -two now. Here's a pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. That'll be a K. Govs now have one out with a runner on third. Now... Batting number nine, Morris. Morris up now. Pitcher in DH. First pitch outside for ball one. It'll be 1 0. Wind's starting to pick up a little bit, blowing it out to straightaway center. That's usually what it does as this one's fouled off to the left side. Yeah, wind doesn't move left to right here much. It's either right to left or straight away. Four. 
one one count now Wells comes set here's the delivery that ball's gonna be popped up job's gonna float over it to sit over to it in center field runners tagging throw home not gonna make it in time that puts central on the board four to one with the RBI sacrifice Job by Joe to float over to it. Oaks. Gets behind it, throws it home, just not enough time. As Summy had a little bit of speed over there at third. Two outs now. First pitch over here to Oaks. Called strike one on the outside corner with the fastball. O one one pitch, fouled off back behind the plate. It'll be 0-2. Tried to come inside with the breaking ball on that one. And it wouldn't be a bad idea to go back outside or elevate something right here. Oaks, the first baseman, bats from the left side. O two 2 pitch, swing and a miss, strike three, and that'll end the inning. Got him on the same pitch. So Gov's able to stop Central at just one run here. We'll move into the bottom of the second. Your score, four to one. We'll be back on Gov Nation Network. Bottom of the second, 4-1. Kendall Brewer is going to lead off here for the Gubs. Now batting for William Watt, number 20, Kendall Brewer. Right fielder and pitcher. Pretty sure he started that game against Bearden, uh, which was a big win for the Gubs as they swept him. This pitch caught a strike on the outside corner on the fastball. It'll be 0-1. Pretty good take by Kendall on the first pitch there. Yeah, it looked to be a little outside. Definitely not something you want to swing at with your first First look, as that one's going to hit him, that's back-to-back -back breaking balls on the leadoff batter for the inning that have hit the batter. So, Govs with another early runner here in the bottom of the second. Now up Carter Abbott, the nine hole, second baseman. Now batting for the Govs, number nine, Carter Abbott. Carter does a really good job of putting the ball in play. As you can see, already choked up on that bat. Kendall at first. Horses looking at him. Here's the delivery. Ball outside, it'll be 1 0. And one thing I've noticed about Morris, he's pretty jumpy when the runner's on. Doesn't really look too comfortable out there. It's apparent in the first inning is the Gubs are able to score four, and Kendall's picked off. Called out. Looked like he might have gotten under the tag, but when the ball. Gets there that early. I mean, there's you're not changing that call. Can of corn for the umpire. So one down now as he 
Took off a little too early over there at first. Saw Trent do something along the same lines, but got timed it perfectly. As Carter's going to find the gap. No, excuse me. That's going to float out there, and it'll be an F9 for the right fielder. Two down now. A quick two outs for the Govs with Joe Matosi. Top of the lineup. Coming to the plate. Job hit by a pitch earlier, as I said. It's nice to see the leadoff hitter get uh, back up here in the second inning. First pitch to Job. Swing over towards center field. Looks like center fielder's got a pretty good read on it, and he drops it. So Job is going to get to second base here, standing up. Tough play by the center fielder there. Not much you can do. Good effort, though. Yeah, I guess I'm just so used to seeing Job out there. He, he makes those plays look easy. Oh, yeah, he can track it down. So Guz with, down with the runner on second. Rody Kirkland up. He was able to find a gap earlier. Put Job on third. For the Guz, number six, Rody Kirkland. Let's see if he can repeat right here and bring Job in. Rody, as I stated earlier, a king commit. First pitch swinging, and that'll be an easy ground ball for the first baseman, and that'll end the inning. Govs unable to put any runs on the board here in the bottom of the second, but we'll move into the third looking to play some defense. We'll be back on Gov Nation Network. We move into the top of the third. Your score, four to one. Govs up three runs here as number 10 Hall, their nine hole, and second baseman comes up to bat. Wells, first pitch to him. Swinging. That'll be a 5-3 for Brooks Bird. And a quick one out here for the Govs. That'll keep your pitch count pretty low if they're trying to get Dawson to go pretty deep in this game and save some arms for tomorrow as they have two games. I would say that's the plan. Pending weather, yeah, of course. Three, Supposed to get a little more rain. I don't know how much more rain this, this field can take. It looks pretty dry, but I know underneath it's probably a little wet. Lead off man up now, once again. That is called a strike on the outside corner. Good breaking ball there by Dawson. Yeah. A whole lot of movement there from the right side. Oh, one to Baker. Another great breaking ball, and it's going to be called a ball that time. That looked pretty good. Stayed inside just a little bit too long. 1-1 one, one now. Here's the pitch. Swinging. That'll go out to left field. Rody's not going to be able to get a good read on that one. We'll be able to stop it, fall, but keep it in front of him. He'll hold Baker to a single, and that'll bring up the left fielder, Plemons, no, runner on first and one out. One. 
Clemens 5'3 earlier. Baker on first. Here's the pitch. Called ball. Excuse me. On the 1 0. Yeah. Not a very good viewpoint of the uh, of the uh, strike zone from up here. We're not field level. 1-0 is going to be a breaking ball outside. It'll be 2-0 now. And that's the thing with, with Dawson's slider. If he can control it, it is absolutely filthy. But whenever it gets away from him, it's, it's usually not very close. He'll pick off. Much better of a pickoff move. Will tries to mess with him at first and try and get him to go to second. Didn't work. Two zero now. I wouldn't expect Clemens to be swinging unless it's right down the pop, or at least where he locks it. Baker still being held at first. He's going to run. Pratt's going to have him absolutely gunned. What a throw by Pratt's! As the Govs now have two outs. I saw that one coming from a mile away. I, I called it before the ball even left his hand. That throw was on the money. Oh yeah, right above the bag, right at Carter's glove. Just a quick catch and swipe. That pitch called a strike. It'll be two one now. Maybe holding all the way. This slider is going to be outside. Three one. Don't want a free base runner, so Wales is going to look to battle all the way back. Here's the pitch. Swinging fly ball. Looks like Bell is going to be underneath it, and he will. No, excuse me. I believe that was his glasses. Oh, that was his glasses. Okay. Okay, I was about to say, that looked like a can of corn. I was, I was worried for a second that Bell actually dropped that, but it was his glasses. So we'll move into the bottom of the third. Gov's able to hold them to no runs. Your score is going to be four to one with the Gov's up to bat. Back here for the bottom of the third, 4-1, steal your score, as nobody has scored here in the third so far. As the three hole, Will Vance is gonna come up. First pitch is gonna be a fastball way outside for ball one. I believe Will Vance celebrated his 18th birthday yesterday. He did, 18th yep. birthday. Does everyone like to joke? Is he he doesn't look 18. Everyone liked to joke it was his 31st or 32nd birthday around the clubhouse as that's taken for strike one. It'll be one one now. This one called low for ball two. It'll be two one. Moore's kind of shaking his head a little bit at that one. Gotta but think, we'll take it. Gotta think on two one will be swinging at his pitcher. Doesn't swing at that one, so he must have not locked it. It'll be 2-2 two -two now. Will's going to have to protect a little bit. 
you don't want to stop the streak of uh, leadoffs getting on, that's for sure. As he's gone fastball, fastball. I haven't seen a breaking ball from him yet. Swing and a miss on the elevated fastball for out number one. Now up is going to be number 15, Justin Bell. Now that is for the Gums, number 15, Justin Bell. Bell in the four hole tonight, or this evening, I should say, not tonight. First pitch swinging. It's going to be fouled off over to the left side. Pratt's is going to field it in the on-deck circle and throw it back to the pitcher. He doesn't get a lot of ground balls behind the plate, I'd say. Oh, well, not many. 0-1 here to Bell. Morris's pitch is going to be bounced in the dirt for ball one. Yeah, wind now blowing left to right. Kind of unusual here. 1-1 one, one pitch is a fastball outside for 2-1. Yeah, nine times out of ten when the wind is blowing here, it's blowing right to left. So left to right is kind of a rare occasion, even though we've seen it, I want to say, twice this year so far on stream. Right to left is not what you want here. Only been 301 and left. Yeah. You love it on the offensive side, but on the defensive side, you're like, please, I've got to keep this ball on the ground. 2-2 two -two count to Bell. Here's the pitch. Fouled off once again. He'll stay alive for another pitch. Bell wearing pink and green wrist tape, as he usually does. 2-2 two -two to Mo Bob Morris. Swing and a miss on a very pretty breaking ball for strike out number two of the inning. That'll bring up Ethan Pratt's. Number 37, Ethan Pratt. This one's going to be popped up and out of play for strike one. Pratt was able to find the right side, find a hole on the right side that's ended up scoring two RBIs in the bottom of the first. 0 1 now. Morris's pitch. Swing and a miss for strike two. Blew it by him that time, and it'll be 0-2. Pratt's is going to have to protect and try and find a gap again here. This one's going to find the middle. Second baseman's able to get to it, but Pratt's is going to beat it out. I believe they'll give him a fielding error right there. It'll be an F, or excuse me, an E4 as uh, second baseman bobbled it a little bit. Trent Reardon is going to come in and run for him, and that'll bring up Nate Ray. Now batting for the Governor's number seven, Nate Ray. Reardon in at Curtis University. Ray had a single that ended up scoring a run last at bat, but made a uh, made a base running error at second. This ball is bouncing in the dirt. Good job by the catcher to block it up. It'll be 1-0 here for Ray. Not much of a lead by rear to first, so. No, just coming back from injury. Just trying to slowly work his way back in the game. He actually played in that Bearden game. Reardon's going to get back standing up. Got to get a little more, get dirty. Make sure that knee's working. Hey, okay, you got to, you got to get out there a little more. One out to Ray. Horses pitch. Ground ball over to the left side. Shortstop looks like he's going to have a pretty good read on it, and he'll throw it to second for out number three. So Govs once again unable to score here. As we head into the top of the fourth, your score still at four to one. You're watching on Gov Nation Network.
top of the fourth. Gov still up three. Your score four to one. Yeah, as we've had eight, no eight. score, we had no runs for the first time today in the third. Number eight ring their three hole and shortstop is now up. Dawson's pitch count, I would have to think, would be pretty low as he's had some pretty quick innings here. First one high for ball one. Fastball. On no count. Wells on the sign. Here's the pitch. High slider. It'll be 2 0 now. Got to finish that pitch. Those middle relief guys start getting into their fourth thing and to work. The legs get tired. The ball starts missing high. Yeah. Yeah, as uh, we were speaking off air, I think this might be his first start as he's usually, you know, their, their middle relief guy. This one's going to be fouled off. It'll be 2 1 now on the fastball in the outside corner. Yeah, I don't know if. Uh, they're looking at probably getting some action going here soon. But you'd have to think because, you know, he hasn't really worked up in his pitch count that often. Uh, might be going to a reliever here relatively soon as this one's going to be popped up. Looks like Job's got a good read on it, and he does for out number one. Makes it look easy out there. Always. Always tries to make it look easy. One out now. The Govs did find a new pitcher in Dom Goins. They did. Leads now the team in ERA. Yeah, he threw .67 innings and has an ERA of zero on two pitches, might I add. So one out now. Runners, nobody on, I should say. As number 15, the catcher Ward is now up. As this one's high fly ball, it's going to stay in the infield, and Justin Bell is going to get out number two on an F6. Sunglasses stayed on that time. Yeah. As we thought, you know, at the end of the uh, last top half, if if you're just now tuning in, he uh, dropped the ball, but it was his sunglasses falling yeah, off of his hat. Not entirely sure how that happened. It looked like a routine fly ball, but nonetheless got the out to end the inning. Summy up now, third baseman. As this is a first pitch strike on the outside corner. Good job by Wells to start 0-1. Beautiful day for baseball, as I mentioned earlier. Not a lot of wind, a little bit, but not bad. Nice temperature. And really not, not a cloud in the skies. This one's driven out into right field. Kendall Brewer gets back to it for out number three, and that'll end the top of the fourth. Guff's coming up to hit your score, 4-1. to one.
Cowboys to the line of Brooks Bird. Bottom of the fourth, your leadoff hitter for this inning is going to be Brooks Bird, number 11, playing third base. Brooks in the seven hole today. Already his stance widened out, looking to bunt for a hit. And uh, that ball was outside. Good job to pull back. It'll be 1 0. Maybe just trying to get the corners to play in on him. Yeah. As now he's going to go swinging and he's going to swing through the first pitch. Be 1 1. Morris working quick now. 1 1. Up in on the hands. It's going to be dribbled out to the right side. Morris is able to get a read on it and tag Bird for out number one. Now batting for William Watt, number 20, Kendall Brewer. So that'll bring up Brewer, right fielder. Had a pretty good catch over in right field to end the, the top of the fourth. First pitch to him. Low for ball one. That bounced about 15 feet in the air. 1-0 count. Here's the pitch. Fastball outside for ball two. It'll be 2-0. 2-0 for number 20. Exactly a good pitch to swing on to help, but nonetheless. 2-1. Horses delivery. Brown ball pretty hardly hit over to shortstop and good dig by the first baseman for out number two. Be a 6-3. That'll bring up Carter Abbott. First pitch to Carter is going to be over to the shortstop again. This one not quite hit as hard, but that'll be a quick one, two, three inning for Morris. We'll go into the top of the fifth. Your score still four to one. We'll be back for the top of the fifth. Farner. Top of the fifth, Farner is going to lead off here for McMinn Central. Dawson Wells pitching an excellent game so far with only one run given up. He's also had really good defense behind him. First pitch here inside, and that's going to hit him. Might have been a little bit of a commentator's curse as that first pitch is way inside and hits it's Farner, and that'll bring up Morris. Still the chance for a double play opportunity if the Govs get a ball on the ground. 
First pitch outside for ball one. Let's say it's a little up as the umpire. Wells 1 0 pitch. Slider outside for ball two. Got to start that really over near Pratt's uh, left shoulder. 2 0 pitch. Swing and a miss on the foul tip. For strike one, it'll be 2 1. One pitch, swing and a miss on another elevated fastball for strike two. Good job by Dawson to work back and even the count. Oh yeah, he's done that a few times. Started off two and worked his way all the way back. Two two, swing and a miss for strike three. One out now. That'll bring up, I believe, the first baseman. Oaks. Now batting number 25, Oak. Barner still on first. Will holding him on. First pitch here to Oaks. Outside for ball one. one -0 now. Dawson eyeing the sign. Come set. Here's the pitch. Strike one on the outside corner. And as we mentioned, it'd be nice to get a lot of first pitch strikes, but the end result is really what matters. And Dawson's been getting a lot of outs today. 1-1, one, one, elevated fastball for strike two. 1-2 now. Oaks was swinging out of his shoes at that pitch. I know that elevated fastball looks pretty coming out the hand. Here's the one two. Delivery. Up and out for ball two. Tried to go right back with that elevated fastball, but was a little too far outside for him to chase. Job moved his way over to closer to right center as we've got a lefty up, as that ball is inside for ball three. Don't want to give a free base here. That also move a guy into scoring position, which is something you definitely don't want. With the eight, nine batters up, you definitely want to get these next two guys. Oh, yeah, you don't want to get back up to the top. Three, two, fouled off. Noakes is going to stay alive for at least one more. Three, two, one on the board. Three balls, two strikes, one out. Dawson's pitch. That'll find the left field gap. Runners now on first and second with one out. Just an inside out swing there, and that one finds the, the grass in right or left field. Yeah, it was a really good job right there. The just fight, 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 and then poke something to the left side. As you really don't see that often with the left-handed batter going the opposite side of the field. Gubb's expecting bunt. Will Vance is playing about a foot and a half into the grass. Carter's going to mess with the runner at second a little bit. First pitch here by Wells. Definitely showing bunt, able to pull back. It'll be 1-0. Yeah, it looks like they're definitely going to try and just advance these runners. Put runners on second and third. Make it to where a base hit would possibly score both of them. 1-0 now. It's the pitch. Never mind. Inside move there by Dawson to try and keep him close. One zero. -oh. Will expecting bunt. 
doesn't happen, and that ball is going to be poked out to second base. We're going to have a five or a four, six, nothing. Runner's going to come in and score on an errant throw by Justin Bell. Not sure what happened on that throw, Bells. It looked like it just sailed on him. Yeah, maybe slipped out of his hand a little bit. So that cuts the governor lead down to two. Runner now on first base. With Bell's arm talent, you would have thought that maybe the Guffs could have gotten out of that inning. With a good throw. Lead off Baker up now. The first pitch is high for ball one. Probably going to see another ball to the left side here, if I had to guess. If he gets a chance to swing, his account now is 2-0. Awesome might be getting a little tired. I don't know how often he gets to. He goes through five innings. As that one is a called strike on the inside corner, it'll be 2-1. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure how often uh, Wells gets this deep into a game. As we mentioned earlier, he's usually our middle relief guy. Might start a few Saturdays here and there. Swing and a miss for strike two. Definitely not a pitch you want to swing at with a 2-1 count, but we'll take it. That's more of a 2-2 protect swing. Got him to chase anyway. Yeah. 2-2-2 two, two, two on the board. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Wells delivery. Swing and a miss, strike three, and that'll end the inning. Great job by Dawson to get out of it with only one run given up. As your score is now four to two, we'll take a break. Be back for governors, for the governors, excuse me, on the offensive side. going to come back momentarily uh, a little bit of a gag uh tyler graves is putting on currently playing is a uh, sunset strut which is if you are an avid listener for gov nation is the uh official theme for commercial breaks richard's been trying to find something different but it's been unsuccessful so far so we're gonna let this play for a little bit so he can get a good feel for it score four to two with the leadoff man Joe Batosian up. Hopefully the Guts can get something going on the offensive side again as they have been scoreless after the first inning. Number 27, Job Matosian. Job was hit earlier today on a breaking ball on his second pitch he saw. But after that first inning, Morris has done a good job of Keeping the Govs scoreless as that first pitch is in the dirt for ball one. Seems to be a theme for the Govs this year. Get up big in the first inning and then the offense just dies out. Yeah, there's been a few games here and there where the, the, the offense just really keeps going, but not a today. That ball fouled off. It'll be 1-1 one, one now. Here's the pitch by Morris. Inside, almost hit Job again. It'll be 2-1 now. If he'd have turned in on that a little bit, it might have hit him. 2-1. That ball is driven out in the left field, but good read by the left fielder for out number one. And that ball was pieced by Job. Couldn't have hit that one any better. No, it's just a little up in the zone, so he couldn't get a whole lot of elevation on it. If that ball was maybe two inches lower. 
Kirkland. Might be going a long ways, folks. Now batting for William Watt, number six, Rody Kirkland. The Rody up now with one out. First pitch breaking ball outside for ball one. One oh pitch. Outside again, ball two. It'll be two oh. This ball's going to be on a tee. Brody tends to have a lot of plate discipline, so I wouldn't expect him to swing unless he really liked it, which is what he did. It's 3 0 now. Let's see if Coach Young gives him the green lot. Looks like he probably will. That'll be taken for strike one. Not something Rody wanted to waste that bat on. 3 1 now. Fouled off. It'll be strike two and a full count. Brody choked up about an inch, inch or so on the on the bat. Three, two, one on the board. Three balls, two strikes, one out. Here's the pitch. Outside for ball four. So the Govs have a man on with Will Vance up. Brody a lot of speed on the base path. Now batting for the Governors, number 21, Will Vance. Will was pretty fast his sophomore or junior year. Then he fell in love with the weight room. But we'll take mass over speed any day of the week. First pitch to Will. Taken. We're going to say inside. Looked pretty good from over here, but we'll take it nonetheless. It'll be 1 0. Brody leading off on first. Morris comes set. Here's the pitch. That'll be into left field for a base hit. Govs are going to play a little bit of stationary ball as Brody moves up to second. Will takes his place at first with Justin Bell up to bat with one out. Now batting for the Govs, number 15, Justin Bell. Bell wearing number 15, bats and throws from the right side. One out here. Morris comes set. Here's the delivery. Swing and a miss on a very good breaking ball for strike one. Tried to sit back on that pitch. I believe he was sitting first pitch fastball. Kind of just an oh crap swing. Wasn't expecting that. Oh, one. That ball is driven high and deep to left field. See you later. Three run shot for Justin Bell. He knew that off the bat. So, Govs are going to take a seven to two lead. Bell. Beautiful swing there by Bell. And I kind of expected that, hung a breaking ball. He is not the batter you want to hang a breaking ball against. Uh, definitely not. If he sees it, he's going to take it a long, long way. Guns extend their lead up five now. With only one out, and Ethan Pratt's up to bat. Beautiful long ball there by Justin Bell. That ball was way, now way out. Number 37, Ethan Pratt. As I see, I think a JV player went to go get it. Uh, that ball was about halfway down the parking lot. First pitch to Pratt's is going to be called. Strike one on the outside corner. Pratt's is also a threat at the plate. Oh, yeah. Oh, if, if he, if, if Morse hangs something on him, too, I wouldn't be surprised if Pratt's takes it a long way. That one's going to be fouled off to the left side. Looks like it'll find the tennis courts. Did I see it rolling over there? O2 now. This one's going to be a high fly ball. Looks like second baseman has a track on it, and he does for out number two. Got him lunging on that outside breaking ball. Yeah, and really with O2, that's there's really nothing you can do. It's hard to sit back on that because you're just yeah, trying to protect. What number seven, Nate Ray. Kind of hoping you foul it off, but that one ended up finding 
finding the uh, fair territory side. Nate Ray up now with two down. This ball way outside for 1-0. Ray also has a lot of power from the right side as that one is fouled off for 1-1. One, one. Fouled it straight back. He's on it. Yep. And if Nate Ray can get going, this offense is going to be sitting pretty. 1-1 one, one pitch. It'll bounce for ball two. It'll be 2-1. Central's got some someone uh, warming up in the bullpen. Their uh, roster didn't have, or their lineup, excuse me, didn't have uh, numbers other than one through nine. So, not entirely sure who that is, but it is a lefty from the right, or a lefty that will be coming in. That one's going to be driven out into right field. Looks like he's got a read on it, and he does. So that'll end the inning. But the damage has already been done. Three run shot by Justin Bell, and your score now seven two. We'll move into the top of the sixth. You're watching on Gov Nation Network. We move into the top of the sixth. Govs up 5-7-2 after the three-run shot by Justin Bell in the bottom of the fifth. Dawson Wells comes out for another inning of work. This first pitch is bounced to the right side. It'll be 1-0. Up is number one, Ple Plemons, the left fielder. Like, the, as I said, McMinn Central has a lefty Warming up in the pen. Might get a name for him momentarily. And it looks like we've got Nate Ray warming up in our bullpen down there. It does. So Nate Ray probably going to come in after this inning. Maybe a little earlier if Dawson has some problems getting out of it. 2-0 count. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss for strike one. It'll be 2-1. You know, I could be wrong. It could be Dom getting loose down there. <laughs> I think Dom is just standing there with him. Wouldn't that be something, though? This ball taken for ball three. It'll be 3-1 now. I believe warming up out there for um, McMinn Central is Derek. As on the available pitchers, he's the only lefty. As that ball is up and foul. They'll find the bleachers. Will now be a full count. I believe it might have hit somebody in the head, but they're all right. So, it'll be a full count. Yeah, I believe that's Derek warming up in the bullpen for, or was warming up in the bullpen for them. Probably going to come in. 
didn't quite get a number on him, so we'll see that momentarily. As that ball is driven hard, but foul down the left side. Nate Ray scoops it up, throws it into Bird, and they'll get it to a to a Central's third base coach. It also has on here that Derek is a switch hitter, but uh, considering um, Morris is put down as a DH, I'd say he'll probably stay in and bat. As a full count three. walk for Plemons, that'll bring up the three hole and shortstop number eight ring. Brooks playing even with the bag at third. Carter and Bell are playing in double play territory. one -o. Wells on the sign, takes a look at the runner at first and comes set. Here's the pitch. Low, that one's going to get away from Pratt's. So now the Govs have a runner on, or now, excuse me, McMinn Central has a runner on second with no outs. I believe you would score that one a wild pitch. Yep. Little far outside, kind of hard for Pratt's to block that one up. Always give the catcher the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> Coming from a catcher. It's tough back there. It is. No, I, I don't deny that for a, for a second. I couldn't imagine. Coach Young's going to come out and talk to Wells, try and calm him down a little bit. We'll get back to baseball. Clemens now at second on the wild pitch. Two O to ring. Here's the delivery. After a few looks, here's the delivery. That one's driven out into left center. Rody makes the catch. What a play there by Rody Kirkland on the diving on the diving catch in left center. We're out number one, and that'll keep Plemons at first or, or at second. Outstanding play by Rody. Oh yeah. Got a lot of length out there. Used to play basketball. That wingspan definitely came came in to, to help him a little bit there as he caught that on the fingertips. The one out. Now up is Ward, the catcher. First pitch is going to be low. Good block by Pratt's. I think that got him on the wrist. He'll take it like a champ, though. 1-0. Clemens still at second. Carter mess with him. Carter second called for a daylight, but Dawson didn't throw it. Call a second there. Had to step off. They might have had him because he was pretty far off the bag. Good throw. Definitely would have had him host. Makes me think Plemons might be going to third here. This one's going to be fouled off, dribbled to the left side. We'll hit the third base dugout. It'll be 1-1. One, one. Central's running out of time here. They've only got five more outs. One, one. Carter's going to release him. Here's the pitch. Fouled off the outside breaking ball. It'll be one, two. Barely got a piece of that one. Yeah, that was a very good pitch there by Wells. He's looking to get five complete innings here. On deck is Summy, the third baseman. One 
One, two, one on the board. One ball, two strikes, one out. Inside move by Wells to keep Clemens close at second base. Carter still messing with him over there at second. Wells takes a look, takes another look, has another inside move. Maybe not trusting his daylight move too much. Count still one, two. Wells takes a look and delivers. Ball caught in foul territory on the right side. That'll be an F3 for out number two. The Govs will take it as Clemens was definitely going to third on that pitch, but ball was popped up. So that'll keep him at second. Summy up now. Two outs for Wells. He'll take a look, take another look, and deliver. Low and outside for ball one. Central down to four outs. One no -oh count. Here's the pitch. It'll be called inside for ball two. It'll be 2 0. -oh. And I'd say Summy will not be swinging to this pitch unless it's really pretty. Looked like a two seam there that just ran a little bit too much. Carter still messing with Plemons at second. 2 0 -oh pitch. That'll be dribbled out to the right side. Carter's got a lot, got a lot of ground to make up, and he'll flip it over to first base for out number three. Some he didn't like it, but we'll take it. We move into the bottom of the sixth. Your score seven two as the Govs keep Central scoreless in the top of the sixth. Bottom of the six, Govs look to get a little more insurance heading into the top of the seventh. Try and close this game out. New pitcher for McMinn Central is number two, Derek, the lefty. Brooks Bird is going to lead off here for the Govs. 
batting in the seventh hole. He'll have Brewer behind him and Abbott for 7 8 9. First pitch, brown ball to the right side. That'll be a three unassisted for out number one. I like it though. First pitch swinging, trying to be aggressive at the plate. Now up is going to be number 20, Kendall Brewer. Right now fielder. For William Watt, number 20, Kendall Brewer. And you just that, and you just really want to thank if we can get to the top half of the order. They've been hot. Try and get a few more runs here. Make this lead even bigger. Heading into the top of the seventh. That ball is going to be lined down the left field line for a base hit by Brewer. Good job right there to sit back. He'll stay at first. Carter Abbott up. Only one out. Now batting for the Gov, number nine, Carter Abbott. Good speed on the bases. Kendall on first as well. Carter had a... Was it Carter that had an infield single earlier? I believe it was. As that one's going to be poked up and caught by the shortstop. Couldn't get enough on it to get it past him for out number two, and that'll bring up Joe Potosi in the center fielder. Now batting for the governor, number 27, Joe Matosi. Two outs, Kendall on first. Derek has gotten a quick two outs here as he's going to pick off. That was probably the easiest read from a lefty you can get. I haven't seen an actual pickoff from him, so we'll see. We'll see what else he mixes in. First pitch here to Job is going to be taken for ball one on the inside part of the plate. Go on first. 1 0 pitch. Swing and a miss. Job was trying to take that one a mile. Pulled his head. It'll be 1 1. Good pitch to swing out of your shoes at, that's for sure. Right down the middle. 1 1 pitch. Kendall was going to go. Didn't like it though, so it'll be 2 1. I'm probably a. Pretty good idea to stop as that was kind of up there in the zone. Would have been an easy catch and throw as that's going to be another pickoff to first base. Count still 2-1. Kendall still at first. Here's the pitch. Kendall going, and he's going to be in the second standing up on a passed ball. I guess you would consider that a pass ball. I believe I would call that a pass ball, Bill. Yeah. Be a routine block up. Of course, not. I'd say any blocked ball is not necessarily routine. Some more routine than others. 3-1 now. This pitch, swing and a miss by Joe, but it'll be f a full count. 3-2-2 three, two, two on the board. Three ball, two strike, two out. Job widening his stance out a little bit, trying to find a gap. Here's the pitch. I'll be driven out the left or to the third base on the left side, and a no dig there at first as it'll get past him, and Job is going to get into second base. So the Govs tack on another run. Looked like Job might have missed the base over at first, but time was given, so I assume he touched it. And that'll bring Rody up with another runner in scoring position. Now batting for the Govs, number six, Rody Kirkland. Govs have, have extended their lead to six. No, eight, two. First pitch to Rody, swinging and just foul. Attacking first pitch fastball. If they had squeezed inside the line, Joe was scoring on that one. Oh, yeah, no probably doubt. standing up. Would have trotted after he touched third. Joe's got a lot of acceleration out there at second. This one also fouled off. Rody's got to sit back a little bit. 
He's already smiling. He's like, come on, sit back. Two fastballs right down the middle. Just could not sit back on it. It looked too pretty. This one low and inside for ball one. It'll be one two on the curveball. One two two. One ball, two strike, two out. Job. Winkle towing over there, and that one is driven high and deep to right field and gone. Two run bomb by Rody Kirkland. Two home runs tonight. Rody finally was able to sit back on one, and that one went way, way out of here. Well, Line drive like home run. Just like you mentioned earlier, top of the order back up, more production out of the top. Two run homer for Rody Kirkland. The Govs extend their lead up to eight. Ten two ball game. As the bats have come alive here near the end of the game, the Govs have scored six in back to back innings. Looks like Ro for the Govs, number 21, Will Vance. Looks like Will and Bell might have switched up bats a little bit, so. Had to switch them up. Will Vance up now, as this one is taken low for ball one. Two games that I've called now, Rody has hit a home run. One to straightaway center field, and that one way, way out to right. That one's driven into left or into right center. Excuse me, center fielder's got a read on it, and he will make the catch for out number three. But the damage has been done. Another three runs here for the Govs on a two-run shot. And what was the other run? How did they get the other run? Uh, Kendall scored on Kendall scored on a pat on a uh, missed dig by the first baseman. That's correct. So your score ten to two goes up eight. We move into the top of the seventh to end the inning. Nate Ray coming in to close. We'll take a break. Top of the seventh, 10-2. Gov's looking to finish this game out. Nate Ray comes into pitch. Alex Caldwell comes behind the plate for the top of the seventh. Rest of the field looks the same, I believe. It is. First pitch here by Nate Ray. Taken for ball one. That looked pretty good. I guess he might have said it was up a little bit, but it's like I don't know. crossed up the letters there. One oh. Pitch. Swing and a miss for strike one. 
It'll be 1-1. One, one. One, one count. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss for strike two. Swung at that one, and it looked just about like the ball one pitch. But we'll take it. Nate Ray Mott break him off right here. One, two. And that'll hit him. Looked like with the four seam or a two seam that ran in a little bit. Had a little bit of two seam movement. So Central has a runner on. Now batting number nine, Morris. Morris, the starter in DH now, up to bat. Run 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 lead right here. You just have to be confident in your stuff and throw it over the plate. Yeah, just find outs. Let them put the ball in play. First pitch, low for ball one. Count. Barner on first. Here's the pitch. Taken for strike one. It'll be 1-1. One, one. Carter playing kind of close to the bag. Bell playing towards the gap on the left side. Yes, he did. Mind. They said he didn't go. That looked like he went to me, but all right. 2 1. <laughs> 2 1 fouled off. It'll be 2 2. <laughs> 2 2, no outs. Farner on first. Will holding him on. Ray gives him a look. Comes set. Here's the pitch. Outside. A full count now. Looks like the slider just got away from Ray right there. Yeah. That really is one of those hit or miss pitches. When it comes to a curveball, if you mess up, you leave it high. When it comes to a slider, if you mess up, it's going to get behind, get behind you. 3-2. Dribbled out to shortstop. Justin Bell's got a read on it and lets it go underneath his glove, so Central's going to score right here. Like Will Vince just wasn't in position to cut that one right there. Yeah. So, Central gets a run here in the top of the seventh. Cuts the lead down to seven. Now in is the pinch hitter, number 24. Not sure who it is. Yeah, it didn't have numbers on the roster. <laughs> the lineup that was written. First pitch. Taken for strike one on the outside part of the plate. Good answer there by Ray. 0-1 now. Carter messing with the runner at second. Here's the pitch. That one's going to be a ground ball over to Brooks Bird. Runner's going to third. They might have him hosed, and they do. Great double play there by the Govs. Two down now. Really great relay there. Bird keeps the runner at second long enough. Knows the speed for the guy out of the box is not going to be great. Now batting number 10, Hall. Goes the first, and then Will with a great throw over back to Brooks. And we get two down here on a unconventional double play. Don't see a whole lot of those. A 3-5. 5-3-5. Three, five, three, three, five, yeah. 5-3-5. Five, three, five. First pitch strike. It'll be 0-1 now with the nine hole up Hall. 
one. Taken high for ball one. But we won one. A lot of ones in that sentence. One one. Here's the pitch. Taken high for ball two. It'll be two one. Get that down a little bit. One, two, two balls, one strike, one, two outs. High for ball three. It'll be three, one. Wade just has to push through his legs and finish that pitch. He's standing straight up when he finishes. Get down with it. Three, one. There it is. Much better. Three, two. Two two. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three, and that'll be your ball game. Govs with a big win. Seven runs. Can't quite give uh, Nate Ray the save, but nonetheless, pretty good job to close it out here in the top of the seventh. So your final score, 10-3. Make sure you tune in tomorrow as the Govs have two games, I believe. I think at either 11 or 11.30 and 3.30. So not quite sure who's going to be on the call for that game. It just really depends on other matters. But nonetheless, two games tomorrow. Make sure you tune in. Good showing there by the Govs. That'll be it. Your final score, 10 to 3. Govs take a really big, really big win here against McMinn Central. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Carter Bales here with Nathan Yates. Have a good day.